Hi everyone, welcome to day 12th of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question. So today we will be solving a question that was asked in IBM data analyst interview. So let's see the question first. Identify IBM's high capacity users. So basically we need to identify the users who have made higher purchase. So let's understand the question. Identify users who have made purchases totaling more than $10,000 in the last month from the purchase table. The table containing information about purchases including the user ID, date of purchase, product ID and the amount spent. So let's see the table first. In the table we have purchase ID, user ID, purchase date, product ID and the amount spent. So let's understand the question what we need. We need user ID who have made purchase more than $10,000 that is in the last month. And we can simply use a group by functions to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and start writing our query. So first we need user ID because we want to see by each user and their purchase. So we want to see user ID and sum of total spend which is going to be amount spent and I'm naming it as total spent. And then we need to find out the data only for the last month. So I'm going to use a where conditions along with the between. So where date of date of purchase between and I'm going to give a date starting date which is going to be 2024-02-01 because I want only the data for the last month and I'll be using one more date which is going to be 2024-02 and 29. So make sure whenever you are putting date in the SQL so make sure it is under single quotes otherwise it, it will be giving an error. So just remember that so we have selected the where conditions so now we're only filtering the data for the last month now we'll have to use a group by because we want to see for each user and that their total sum amount so we'll have to use a group by user id now if you remember in the question it asks only to show user who has made purchase more than ten thousand basically dollars so we'll be using having conditions here having this sum greater than ten thousand dollars so basically why we are using having because we have used group by now this query till this group by it will be giving us the user id and their total amount if i just run it till here you can see now you can see that for each user it is giving us the total amount they spend but what we want only the users who has spent more than ten thousand like this one right so we'll be using a having conditions and uh, saying that the sum amount has to be greater than 10,000 then only show us the user ID and their total spend. So we can go ahead and run the query. So now you can see this user which is 578 spent 17,000. So we can just go ahead and verify it. Select everything from purchases purchase table. So if you just check, let's go ahead and verify it. Now the user ID was this which is 578 we can just go ahead and verify the user id so now 578 is spent here 3000 you can see 578 is spent 6000 here there's one more spend by 578 user which is 7000 and there is one more spend by the 578 that is 4000 so altogether this user which is 578 has spent 17000 and that is greater than last month so this is the customer which is who spent more than basically you know the 10000 value in the last month so that is how we can solve this kind of problem. So let's now move to the next question that we have for today. So the question is average durations of employee service given the data on the IBM's employee. You can find the average durations of service for employee across depart department. The durations of service is considered as an end date minus start date. If end date is null, consider it as the current date. So let's see the table first. We have employee ID, employee name, their joining date which is as a starting date and their end date if they have exited that is the date and department but what we can see in the end date there are a lot of null values so now you can see that if the end date is null basically if the employee has not resigned yet then just consider it as today and that's how we'll be able to find average durations of employee by the department so what we need basically we need to find by department by department average durations of employee so average durations basically we can find by the end date minusing start date so let's go ahead and start writing our query so what we need is the department 
because we need to find by the department average durations of the employee in that department so we can simply use a case functions case when end date is null then what we want if this end date is null then we want to consider it as a current date current date so and minus start date start date so basically it's going to you know if this null it's considered as like today is the exit date of the employee and then it will minus the start date that's how it will find the durations of stay of that employee and else what we want and if this is not null if it has a date then it will simply minus the start date from the end date ends else end date minus start date and we will be ending it ending this basically clause if logic and we'll name it as average durations and we'll need to use a group by because we want to see this data by that department not individually so you'll simply use a group by so let me just explain again what we have done we have simply selected the department then we have selected the average functions and inside the average functions we have given a case logic case is simple as like if logic in python or excel so what we are saying if this end date is basically null then consider it as a today date and then minus the start date from it that is how we will be finding the duration of that employee but if it is not null if the employee has already exited then simply minus the start date from this end date so which is this else logic and then we are and now we are naming it as average durations and grouping it by the department so now we can see that we have got the average durations of each department so in technology you can see the average duration is 1828 and in strategy average duration is which is less 1613 and in management average duration is 1823 that is it for this video thank you so much for watching so this is how we can solve any type of you know complex sql problem so just uh, you know break the problem into small small you know problems and then try to see like what are the things that you need to solve this type these problems then basically you can combine and solve it